I didn't do it. Hey, what's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the X Transbots Le Pulp. I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that right, but here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging right up front. Here we have a nice piece of artwork of Le Pulp, Le Poop. Here he is, Prosecutor Le Pulp, Le Pulpe, Le Poopy, Le Poopies. I don't know. Uh, on this side of the box, we have guilty or innocent. Your death awaits either way. Oh, that's that's foreboding. On this side of the box, we have the same image, same quote, little schematic -y image. On top, we have Le Poulp, Le Poulp, Le Poulpe. Bottom teasers on the back of the box. We have a nice little kind of a la G1 battle scene. We have a very G1-y tech spec card with a bio if you want to read it, although some of it is covered by that sticker sorry but you got the text specs <laughs> if that interests you that's basically it for the packaging and you also get the collector's card with that same piece of artwork on the front and on the back we have the bio again which now you can read yay unobstructed and text specs if that interests you hooray for carts and moving right along, here we have Le Pulp. I'm just going to go with that. I don't know how to pronounce it. But yes, this is x Transbot's take on the Quintesson Prosecutor that we saw in the 86 movie and also in the third season of the cartoon. But yeah, here he is and uh, looks quite, quite good in my opinion. But let's get in close. Yes, yeah, so we can take a look not at his bazillion ab muscles, but at that noggin. There's that noggin. Oh, that's a foreboding noggin right there. But a nicely done face sculpt there, in my opinion. Nice metallic paint right for the eyes. You see the teeth are picked out as well. Even the inside of his mouth is painted. You got some nice metallic green in there. Again, some, some nice coloration going on there. Along the head, some nice detail. You see the chest here, done in a nice metallic green. Got some yellow in there, orange. You can see all the tentacles here, done in green. Got the little, I guess would be his waist, <laughs> with little spots of red. The bottom section here, again done with that nice metallic coloration with those spots of yellow. And here have the little like thruster effect going on, just done in a nice transclearant plastic. And moving up the back, we have the prosecutor's booty. Ooh, we don't want to see that yet. But, yeah, right there, there you have a, a button that will activate our noises and whatnot. And the back of his head, you get a little bit of detail back there as well. But, all in all, looks really, really good in my opinion. Now, articulation-wise, uh, the head is on a ball joint, so you do have lots of wiggly waggly. You can rotate i would be mindful of how much you rotate his head because there are electronics going up in there so i wouldn't start just spinning his head around otherwise you could damage something but you can still get pretty much as much turn as you need to i just wouldn't go too far just for risk of damaging any of the electronics in there now as far as his arms go the tentacles they are bendy they are posable the tentacles themselves are rubber and it seems like you just have a have a thick uh, bendy wire in them so you can pose them and kind of do what you want. But as always, I always have to put out this word of warning when it comes to anything that has a posable wire in it. Don't mess around with it too much because you can weaken it. It'll snap over time. So just get into a pose you like and just leave it and just don't don't mess with it too much. Don't mess, don't mess with it as much as I'm doing right now. Just <laughs> be moderate with it. Be moderate with your messing. That's all I'm saying. Be moderate with your messing. Um, and does have a ratcheted waist joint, although what he needs a waist joint for, I have no idea, because basically, no matter which way you turn him, it's not like there's any real, oh no, that's the part that should be forward down there, it doesn't really matter, but hey, it's a thing that turns, if you need it to turn, why not, dare I say, why not, um, the mouth... It does open and close, but it's spring-loaded because this is part of the uh, the electronics, so he can't actually keep his mouth closed. It'll always stay open. But you can go chompa, 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 if you want to. Things you can do if you want to do it. 
Now there is some assembly required when you take this guy out of the box. The tentacles are packed separately and all you have to do is just plug them into this housing and then screw them in. And once you get that done, you just take them and just snap them right in and they plug in nice and securely. But yeah, there you have your prosecutor. Looks quite, quite cool in my opinion. Now this figure having electronics, of course, you're going to need batteries for him. So to access the battery compartment, you can see there's some nice convenient tabs right here. You just uh, pull on this and his chest will come out. You undo the screw right here, remove this panel, and that is where the batteries will go. Now you will need, um, you know, oddly specific batteries for this. You will need these batteries. Um, they look like triple A's, but they are not triple A's. They are... 10 440 batteries. That is the kind that you will need. You need two of these. I got these off Amazon, but I'm sure you can find these somewhere else. Shop wherever is most convenient for you, but I got these off Amazon. Um, and the instructions do specify. I'll show you here. It says, warning, must be rechargeable battery. Must be rechargeable. So get the rechargeable kind. So if they're saying must be rechargeable, then must be rechargeable. So I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to go with what they say. But once you get those popped in, you just screw that panel back on, take his chest, and just pop it back onto, you know, his chest. And voila, he is all ready to go. So without further ado, let's get down to all of the functionality. So he does have an on-off switch, and that is this little triangle right here. So right now it's in the off position, so you just push it in, it'll click into place, and now he is on. And this big button right here is how we're going to go through all of the modes. So we will turn him back around, and we will push the button. And you can see the tentacles will just start spinning around, which is pretty cool. Me, personally, I would have liked it if one side went forward and one side went back and alternated like that, but still, makes for a cool effect. And we can push the button again. Has the Imperial Magistrate reached a verdict? And he will start talking to you. Guilty or innocent? Feed him to the shark robots. <laughs> the shark robots. Oh, yes. Before his Imperial Magistrate delivers a verdict, would you like to beg for your lives? It sometimes helps, but not often. <laughs> I love that line. Execute them. Has the Imperial Magistrate reached a verdict? And then it just starts all over again. Guilty or innocent? Innocent. And there you have that. <laughs> Soon you I, too uh, shall receive your sentence. Okay, so push the button. Before his imperial magistrate delivers a verdict, would you like to beg for your lives? Maybe. It sometimes helps, but not often. I'm going to do it anyway. So push the button again. <laughs> push the button again. He'll stop talking. So push the button again. And you can see you have an LED that goes off and the thruster here. It does glow in a nice purple. You can't see it too well because I have a lot of bright lights on it right now, but it does glow quite nicely. And then push the button again. And now his eyes will light up. You can see you got some nice bright red LEDs in there. And then you push the button again. Turns it off. Hit the button again, and you'll just start the cycle all over again. Stop. Nope, nope, nope. Shush. But there you go. Now, just like the Quintesson Judge, the Prosecutor does also include a remote control. So you can activate all the electronics without having to push the button on the back. And as you can see, it is done up just like the Quintesson ship which is very cool. And the battery compartment is right here, so you can just pull it out, and it takes uh, three LR626 batteries, or AG4 batteries. Um, you'll need three of those. They are not included. You'll have to get those yourself, but again, you can get them on Amazon fairly cheaply. But uh, yeah, you have an on-off switch right here, and when you push that, that'll just turn on a little thruster light. Right there, you can see, 
that's pretty much all that does. And then we have this button here for tentacles and sound. You get that going. Push it again. Has the Imperial Magistrate reached a verdict? And I'll talk to you. Guilty or innocent? Innocent. Anyway, just push that again to turn it off. And then you have right here the light switch. And again, that will turn on the thruster. And then push it again. That will turn on his lights in his eyes. And just hit that again. And it turns it all off. And then you can hit auto. When you hit auto, it will turn everything on, the lights, the movements, the talking, everything. So hit auto. Has the Imperial Magistrate reached a verdict? Guilty or innocent? Feed him to the shark robots. Soon you too shall receive your sentence. Before his Imperial Magistrate a verdict. Would you like to beg for your lives? It sometimes helps, but not often. Execute them. As the Imperial Med Just push again, and it turns them off. So, there you go. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. And one last thing to note here is you can open up this little section here on the small of this back. And you do have a charging port. It's a USB-C charging port. It doesn't come with a charging cable, but, you know, most phones now come with USB-C chargers. So you can just use your phone charger for it. So there is your method for recharging the batteries. So there you have that. And now for Comparus Hunt. Here he is with the Masterpiece Hot Rod. Here he is with the Fans Toys Hot Rod. Here he is with the X-Transbots Cup. And here he is with X-Transbots Quintesson Judge. So you can see how they look together. And if you want a measurement on this guy to the top of his head, he measures in at 10 inches tall. So yeah, a nicely sized figure there. So there you go. So there you have the Quintesson Prosecutor, and uh, yeah, very cool figure in my opinion. It looks really good. Um, you know, I like the electronics, the moving tentacles, it talks, it lights up. It's doing pretty much exactly as much as he did in the movie, so you know what? Very accurate, very accurate. And you know, nice sculpting, nice paintwork, all in all. Looks really good, a nice solid piece in my opinion, so there you go. Now, if you would like this or any of x Transbots other offerings, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There'll be a link in the description down below, so you can check that out. You can also check out my third-party Transformers playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out Endgames, check out Love, Peace, Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below, and I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the X Transbots Le Pulp, still don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, and this is Emgo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, bomb in your face. Before his Imperial Magistrate delivers a verdict, would you like to beg for your lives? It sometimes helps, but not often. We're Autobots, we don't. Please don't kill us. Please. I'll tell you anything you want. I'll give you anything you want. He's the one you want. Kill him. Are you serious right now? Do you know how many bots he's killed in his career? Hundreds, thousands, there's so much blood on his hands, so much blood. And this is gonna be our leader. I am turning death into a fighting chance to live. For me!